I just want to say to Stephanie that watching you grow from a little baby girl in your beautiful blind, standing before me has filled me with joy. Sorry. <laughs> Everyone you meet is touched by your kindness, generosity, love for life, and cheeky humor. Taides, he has always had a very strong and persistent character. We couldn't believe it. One day, Titus climbed out of his uh, baby crib at eight months old when mom was cooking in the kitchen and scared mom. He was a super hyperactive boy full of energy in Chinese called Today, today, it's, it's a gift. It's a gift. We're here, look across to each other, savor this moment, just breathe it in, soak it in. This is a once in a lifetime kind of moment. This uh, wedding day, it, it doesn't just make the marriage. Like today, it's the start of your marriage. I've known Titus since uh, daycare. Uh, I'm not sure if I was fully potty trained when I first met him, and oh, yeah. you probably were. <laughs> when people think of Titus, uh, usually the first word that comes to mind is smart. Honestly, he is, he is the smartest man I've never known. And on top of that, he is actually the most hardworking person I have known. Besides having the natural given wits, he actually puts in 120% in actually every single thing he does. When we studied back in uni days, he basically studies my uh, courses too, just just because he can, and that's just the guy he is. But he does it with a really good heart because he actually wants to help you, and that's the thing with Titus. He really loves to help people. Sometimes he doesn't say it directly, and he might kind of make fun of you or kind of be really savage to you, but he means well, and he is there to help. Well, that's my buddy Titus. During the course of their relationship, I have seen them flourish so well together. The two of you are a perfect match for each other. And I couldn't imagine anyone better for Steph than Titus to start their new life. In the Bible, it says that a man will leave his mother and family and embrace his wife and they will become one. Stephanie, I will always remember how excited I was to meet you just so I could hear you say, what up? When I'm happy, Steph is very happy and will celebrate all my milestones and achievements. When I'm sad, Steph will be sad too. She'll even call up my high school crush on the phone to yell at him and will start crying herself because she is so fiercely loyal and so protective. When I rise, Steph rises with me. And when I fall, she'll fall down too, scars and all. 
Steph, you've been one of my longest friends who's loyal, trusting and selfless throughout these 20 plus long years. Our watch should be protective over us. Thank you for treating us like lifelong sisters. And we are so happy you found your other half with Titus. Steph, you're honestly the most beautiful woman inside and out. And us three girls love you so much for who you are. You look beautiful. You look out of this life. Titus, you came into my life at exactly the right time. When we first started hanging out back in 2014, I felt an unexplainable sense of security where I had to share everything and aim to be with you. I knew that you would love me and accept me just the way I am. Stephanie, we made it. We finally made it to this winter wonderland to celebrate her love story. I'll never forget the day I picked you up from the train station for our first long lunch, followed by a long drive home. This was literally the furthest I've ever gone in Sydney. <laughs> I didn't know you can drive 35 minutes and still have houses there. Eight and a half years have passed since that day, and you've been by my side through thick and thin. Your unwavering love and support has meant everything to me, especially during my darkest and toughest times. I promise to follow God, our family and friends to be a loving and faithful wife. I promise to walk with you hand in hand through life as your biggest fan, your shoulder to lead months and best friend. I promise to create and support a family with you, a household filled with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness and faithfulness. I vow to always love you always encourage you, always support you, trust you and respect you. I promise to love you and to be with you always, to care for you, comfort you in times of distress and love you faithfully and wholeheartedly. I promise to face any challenges that come our way with you by my side, knowing that God will guide us as he always has. You're my best friend, her soulmate, the love of my life and I can't wait to do life with you. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Titus, you may kiss your bride. Strong marriages aren't accidental. A good and godly marriage doesn't just happen. Strong marriages are intentionally made and it's gonna take every ounce of you for the rest of our life, living that out together. The Bible teaches that the essence of marriage is a sacrificial commitment to the good of the other. That means that love is more fundamentally action than emotion. So love isn't just something that you fall into or out of, but it's something you choose to stay in. And starting from this moment, that's a choice that you're going to make to love one another. Thank <laughs> you.